Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Gabe Cruz. Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope everyone's doing good today. You know, God bless to everyone who's watching this video. As you can see by the title, you know, we're we're probably 24 hours away or even less by the time you're watching this video from the season finale or chapter two finale of Fortnite. And we're going to be going into chapter three really, really soon. And there's a whole lot of things that we should uh, talk about in this video. And, you know, there's a whole lot of spoilers, so, you know, I'll, I'll let you guys know, uh, you know, when to click off or whatever. I'm not going to really spoil because I was spoiled and, you know, I don't want to ruin the event or, you know, I don't want to spoil anyone just like I was. But anyways, um, there's a whole lot to discuss in this video, so, you know, make sure to stick around uh, until the end, you know, because there's, you know, a whole lot of crazy stuff that happens. But yeah, if you guys are new around here, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Um, hit that bell notification because I will be uploading and uh, updating you guys on what's happening with Fortnite and everything, every single news, etc. Alright? So, uh, first things off, right, I have my laptop, lop, I have my laptop with me, just because there's a whole ton of information, alright, there's a whole ton of information, and I'm gonna cut it into parts, I mean, not cut it into parts, but, you know, I, I have a couple of parts discussed about, you know, Fortnite leaks and news, so, uh, yeah, like, let's get this one out of the way first, right, so I'll be putting these things up on the screen so you guys can see, and like I said, I will warn you about the spoilers, so do not worry about that. But anyways, let's get right into it. Here's what we can expect, right? The chapter 2 finale event, which is tomorrow. Uh, we've been, you know, every single thing that, that has been leading up to this point. Like, if you guys are not ca caught up with the storyline, uh, basically we have the Cube Queen who is trying to annihilate the whole Fortnite island. And, you know, it's up to us to stop her, you know, obviously, and which I'm pretty sure we won't be able to. But I also have the IO, the Imagined Order, who are in control of, you know, the activities and stuff like that that happen around the island. And then, then there's the zero point. I can barely speak. But yeah, then there's the zero point, which controls basically everything that happens in Fortnite. It's basically like the whole, let's just say, heart of the Fortnite island and, and the game itself. Um... It's basically, you know, it, it loops around, you know, all of the people who are in the game, you know, it creates all sorts of uh, crazy stuff. Um, I can't really get too much into detail. It's kind of hard to explain, I mean, at least for me. But anyways, um, we can expect that, right? We can expect a new map, obviously, in Chapter 3. And we have a Spider-Man collaboration that has been rumored for a while now, and uh, it kind of makes sense leading up to the fact that the new movie, Spider-Man No Way Home, is going to be coming out on December 17th. So we could see a collaboration, maybe he could be a Season 1, Chapter 3, you know, Battle Pass skin, in which I will be very grateful for due to the fact that he's one of my favorites. Um, we also have a conf uh, confirmed. We also have a confirmed um, collaboration of Boba Fett. I meant right? to say Boba um, Fett. We know that he was leaked and basically posted by Fortnite themselves a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm really excited for that one as well. And we have a Matrix Matrix collaboration in which you know the new movie is also coming out in December around that time. I'm really excited for that one too. I mean, I guess you could say I'm really excited for everything, right? <laughs> And um, we also have Unreal Engine 5, you know, that we, you know, basically Fortnite has been playing around the the software and, you know, engine, the, the, the old gen engine, number four, right? In which they're going to be upgrading up into um, Unreal Engine 5. You can expect new graphics, new new uh, ways to play the game. And, you know, and what, what I mean by that is probably like, they could fix more of the FPS, you know, ping, you know, lagging and stuff like that. You know, it, it will improve the game, basically, right? Um, and also, the return of Winterfest. As you guys know, December, we are in winter, obviously. Um, we, you know, uh, for, and Fortnite is known for doing this every single time around the Chris Christmas time. Uh, Winterfest was a really, really good addition to the game back in Chapter 2 Season 1. I loved it. And I'm really excited for it to be coming back. And also we have, a, like I said in uh, in the beginning, you know, we have a new mechanic, which, you know, and probably we could have even more, but um, one of the ones that has been leaked is the new sliding mechanic. Um, we know that because it was leaked a couple weeks ago. 
Um, and honestly, in my opinion, I bet it could be a good addition, you know, knowing Fortnite, you know, knowing what they would do, obviously they would have to implement it in a way that we can obviously make it possible to learn. You know, obviously there are players who don't, you know, necessarily build as much or are that good at the game at building or whatever. And I feel like, uh, this sliding mechanic could help, you know, a lot of the people, in terms of movement and stuff like that so i'm re I'm really looking forward to it and then um you know we have creative 2.0 which is basically uh gonna help it's gonna be a really great addition i'm and we could expect to see it in chapter three obviously it was leaked around i think chapter two season five around there um you know we could expect such things as modding you know this is obviously for the pc people obviously i don't think it would matter as much for a console guy like me but uh, yeah, I'm excited for that too. And then we also got leaked of a possible uh, throwable axe. Uh, this could be like, you know, the tomahawks from Call of Duty that we know. Uh, I'm really excited for that one too. That's about it for what we could expect for like such as leaks and stuff like that and information about what we could expect to see in chapter three. All right, so now is basically when we're going to get to the spicy stuff, all right? Because I have two videos to show you guys. One is the trailer that got leaked, and I will obviously put a spoiler warning, like I've been saying throughout the whole video. And also a confirmation about The Rock, you know, Dwayne Johnson, being confirmed as The Foundation. And I'm pretty sure, you know, at least for me, you know, when uh, The Foundation was... Uh, was leaked and you know in the in-game files we saw that it was code uh the voice lines were code name as dj as dwayne johnson i thought that it made sense even with the voice too for me and the way that the skin itself looked i thought that you know it was obvious that he was the rock but we got confirmation uh, that he really is the rock this time uh, i mean the foundation right um through this video right so i will show you guys this video um it's not really a spoiler but you know i'll break it down a little bit for you guys so uh yeah here's the video here we are in the one and only iron paradise this one goes out to my zoa warriors out there i hope you guys had an amazing thanksgiving weekend i know you are gearing up for the holidays but you're also gearing up to finish this year out strong and speaking of strong i want to say thank you guys so much for making our ZOA Energy the number one fastest growing energy drink in the game. The whole goal with ZOA Energy is to make sure that we deliver to you guys the healthiest of clean energy, focus, and immunity. The cleanest of energy, the cleanest of immunity, vitamins, nutrients, to make sure also that you're taking the higher ground. Tip yourself. Now let's go. All right, so we saw the video, right? And here are a few things that I can break down, right? So yeah, so we see that he's promoting this drink as a Zoa drink, Zoa Energy. And um, as you guys can see in the background, right? Um, you can see that when he opens, you know, he the most obvious thing is the foundation helmet, right? Then one thing that you know combines or, or creates the theme for chapter three that we have been you know knowing or been uh listening to is the fact that the theme revolves around the flip side like we've seen uh content creators such as cypher pk and Tabor hill talking about how uh the chapter three or just a little hint at what we could expect is see they they come they come up with a phrase of see you on the flip side right and you know when the rock is consuming this drink you can see that whenever he drinks you know the camera flips and i guess that's a little hint towards the chapter three flip side um and yeah maybe maybe that has some connection then as he as he keeps going on with the video explaining what his drink is about and whatever stuff like that you know we can see in the background that there is this weapon or pistol that we have never seen before it looks you know very high tech this could be probably a uh, weapon of the seven or even a foundation weapon and we could see this in chapter three so, uh, maybe it could be a mythic weapon or you know just anything out of the ordinary so yeah we should probably be on the lookout for that too and now ladies and gentlemen to the big part you know <sighs> 
man. Apparently there has been rumors or actually not even a rumor. I mean yesterday, right? I was trying to make this video yesterday, but I couldn't so the chapter 3 trailer was leaked and I can confirm myself that this is the real one. Actually, I'm not the one confirming but leakers and you know all of these people who are very experts and professionals at this kind of stuff they did confirm and i'll put it right here on the screen they did confirm that this was real it was an accident they put it as an ad epic games or whatever they put it as an ad on tiktok and it resurfaced and you know this was probably either intentional or not intentional to be honest i can't tell because epic games literally does this probably every single time this could be to revolve around the hype or whatever, but um, but yeah, I'm gonna be showcasing showcasing. Goodness, I cannot speak. <laughs> I'll be showcasing the the um, chapter three trailer right here. Um, obviously, I'll put a spoiler warning up ahead. So if you guys don't want to see this, then I guess this is it. Uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. We are going to be going to chapter three, and it, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy to say just because it's. Two years have passed really fast since the beginning, but, um, you know, I'll be uploading the live event tomorrow, so make sure to stick around. It'll be at 4 p.m. Eastern time, obviously. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm giving you guys three seconds to click off. God bless everyone. See you guys later. Three, two, one. Trailer goes. So as we can see, <laughs> all right, I don't even know where to begin, you know? So as we can see by the trailer, um, we can see that a whole lot of stuff is happening. So it starts by, you know, recapping the chapter two, season one, you know, new beginning trailer and stuff like that, right? And the thing is that when I was watching, when I, when I was watching this for the first time, I was like, oh, all right, recapping season one of chapter two, nice. And then out of nowhere, a huge change. A, true, a huge change in momentum just cre like literally just stumbles upon the, the viewer itself, right? And it, literally you can see a whole lot of stuff that's happening, right? So as we can see, um, or at least what I got to, to see, right? The, uh, we see a little snippets and the, these little things could be part of the live event, right? But um, as you guys can see right here, um, I have my laptop with me, so you'll see me looking down. But as you guys can see right here, it looks like this is the, um, this looks like it could be Jonesy and the foundation. It seems like they're also underground, the uh, IO facility, or, you know, as you guys can, uh, if you guys know or have played the imposters mode in Fortnite, you guys are in under, in an underground, uh, facility or, uh, layer or freaking, um, how do you say it? An underground just spot where the IO uh, resides, right? And basically, this is where they do all the operations. They look; they're always looking at the island. They're always doing their inspections and whatever, whatnot. And this seems this seems to be the place, at least in my opinion. I think that they're on because they're obviously on their water. And basically, uh, it shows the foundation and Jones are just looking, and then it, water breaks loose. You know, so it probably, you know, messes up the whole. I old spot and you know they probably might have to relocate right and we see a whole lot of water and stuff like that going on around and whatever jonesy's just you know struggling but the biggest thing comes after this part because as you guys can see jones is all the way out in the water right and then you, the, the whole island is flipping okay as you guys can see, that is the Chapter 2 island. It is flipping, like I said earlier, the flip side. This has, you know, confirmation that this is the flip side. And then you can see in the middle, you can see, you know, that that's probably the IO, you know, underground facility and stuff like that. And then not to mention, but the mothership that we got in Season 7, that was just part of a fleet. 
All right, that huge mothership that we saw, that was part of a fleet. Because as you guys can see, look at all these motherships and make it, it makes it look like it's Star Wars, all right? And I love I love this inspiration from Donald Mustard, all right? I love it. But, you know, I, we can see that there's a whole lot of shift in literal momentum in the Chapter 2 Islander just... And not, 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 you know, without mentioning, you know, this song is crazy. The song in the background is beautiful. I love it. Or music, let's just say. So then we can see the map is flipping, you know, down and whatever. Then a whole crazy thing happens. And then uh, it flips, it, you know, it completes this, you know, the thing, the flip side. And then people have been speculating that, you know, when it flips, as you guys can see, that there's like this desert biome kind of thing. It makes it look like it's the chapter one Paradise Palms. And, you know, I guess it has some similarity. You know, I can, we really cannot tell from far. But in my opinion, this is not the chapter one island. Only because, you know, obviously, I, I'm a guy that would love to have the chapter one island back, right? I'm always going to vouch for that. But, you know, Fortnite, you know, they're unique, right? In, in, in the way that they have a storyline and stuff like that, right? And I don't think it would be really that nice or cool to have it back, you know, having all the the build up to, oh, chapter three map and whatever. And then it's just be us back in chapter one again. So I'm pretty sure they're going to try and, you know, obviously they're always going to try and make something new and stuff like that. So this could be a great addition. You know, I would love to see a whole lot of biomes in the map and stuff like that. So, you know, who knows? Who really knows? And to leave it off right to to just end it off i was gonna end it off on the trailer but i just wanted to see uh show that right now i just want to show you guys uh something from the chief director of epic games and you know uh donald mustard he's the guy that basically is handling the storyline at least from what i understand he's the guy that you know is con in control of all of all of what's happening in fortnite right so he's been doing these kind of like recaps of his like favorite characters and whatever. He's been explaining this and that. And one thing that you should or, or that one should look at when uh, viewing the videos that he puts on Twitter and stuff like that is that he puts very distinct references in his background. Like he's obvious. It, it looks kind of like it doesn't look obvious at first, but um, you you can see. That, you know, when he records, you can see that there are distinct objects in the background and stuff like that. And it could just be speculation. But in the past, all of the objects that have been seen have always been in the game and in Fortnite. Like, for example, Wonder Woman and stuff like that. They, there were objects of those, you know, random characters in, in his house or whatever. And they appeared in the game. So, one of the things that we've been seeing is that, you know, in this... Um, he made a couple of videos, right, of his favorite characters. You know, he showed Jonesy, or Jones, in an imprisoned version of himself. And it looked pretty cool. We can probably see that as a skin. You know, and the thing is, he does it pretty fast. So, you know, it's kind of hard to catch at first. But uh, I think it was yesterday, or the day before. It could be any. But he made another video talking about who his favorite character was. And as you guys can see here on the screen. Well, today has been a day. It's been a week been way busier than I thought. I've uh, been hoping to share just like so many cool stories and moments uh, from chapter two that have meant so much to me, just like getting to experience this stuff and play it. Uh, but the truth is like, I just, I love all of it. I love, I love that I get to work on this stuff. I love that I get to work with these amazing people uh, and we get to just create this awesome stuff that it's like my dream come true to be able to, to do it. Uh, I think you're going to love what's coming next. And um, I can't wait for everyone to see it. So I did this very quick sketch of a character that I think we all love. Midas. <laughs> Midas is great. <laughs> and not dead. He shows Midas. He tells us that Midas is not dead. All right, and I actually did not think that he was dead. I mean, I, I knew that he was in uh, the loop. Basically, you know, when you, when uh, when your real self is stuck in the island of Fortnite, you know, basically, and 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 you get out, there's always a snapshot of yourself. But 
I'm pretty sure that with Midas, you know, he's just stuck in the loop, meaning that if he gets eliminated, he's always going to come back for the next match, right? Just like we do in every single Fortnite game. But we see an object in the background, you know, it's R2-D2, all right? And man, oh man, you guys already know how big of a fan I am from these kind of things, just by the background, all right? I'm a big fan of Marvel. That's why, for me, my favorite season in Fortnite was the Marvel season, right? The best season ever in terms of mythics, in terms of island changes and whatever. And you do not know how much I would love to have a full-on season about Star Wars. Right? Or like even Harry Potter or stuff like that, you know? So, guys, honestly, we can expect a whole ton in Chapter 3. Like I said, make sure to stay tuned. And, yeah. It's going to be crazy for the next few days. Tomorrow, the event is going to be leading up to a whole new crazy events and in, in, in crazy stuff is about to be happening is what I'm trying to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Until then, my brothers and sisters, God bless and uh, yeah, peace.